Hey, well, today I want to show you how to extract all the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, games and possibly some other games as well. Made in the same engine, Multimedia Fusion 2.5 or Clips of Fusion 2.5. I don't know. But, um, important thing to know if you're going to do some uh, texture slash sound looping of another game, don't publish it online or if you do give credit because the person probably didn't want that to happen unless you're the person yourself. Now, uh, you want to have NEC Framework 4.5, um, you want to download the extract. Uh, so once you've done that, it might say that it could harm your computer. It's because uh, the file actually has a .dlo, so it thinks that it's actually um, something to make your computer get harmed, but it's really not. So once you download it, you can go ahead and enter it. and. What you're going to see here is this, nothing at all, I was a bit confused, but if you go to about, it tells us about, right, if we go to export, we can export, but we had nothing to export, um, you, you want to go to file, open, and you want to find a place to, uh, find the Final Fantasy Freddy's game, so mine is in program files 86, Steam, Maps, common, and then I have Five Nights at Freddy's one, two, three. For the sake of today, I'm going to explore all the sounds of Five Nights at Freddy's two. So I'll double click in the folder and I will open this. So if it's supported, it should open up. And metadata is basically telling you the title, the author, alpha path, and the project path. And this is Scott's desktop Five Nights two, Five Nights two, sixty nine MFA. Okay. Uh, you can either export textures or sound. I'm looking at some textures right now here. Uh, see textures, but I don't want textures. I want actual sounds. Same goes for textures as well. Same process. If you were to uh, export textures, you would go to export all sounds or textures. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go to all sounds here. I'm going to browse for a folder. FNAF sounds. Open it in there. It's going to start export. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Um, if it, the program is not going to respond, don't do anything. If it says it's not responding, don't touch a button until it says all done right here like we have right now. So if we go to the folder. So we go to the folder and we have all our sounds here. So yeah, this is actually a pretty cool thing. Now this does work for other games and I will show you an example right now. And I'm going to export a fan game called The Return to Freddy's 2. All I want is the sounds. So I will go to sounds, export, all sounds. Um... I'm gonna find the exact same place where I want to export it. Uh, if this ever happens, then I wouldn't do anything. I would still wait a little bit. I would still wait. Uh, I would kind of check on that folder. Just to make sure everything's okay. Um, I don't want to quit. I want to wait a little bit, you know, just in case. And this, these are the sounds to Freddy Fazbear. So they are the sounds. If it ever happens, try it again. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.